how I'm marking out my um, coping stones, whatever they're called. And it's kind of just good for my memory as well, so I know how to put them back. Because they are different sizes. I ran out of coal here, so I've had to scratch it. Just a bit like a jigsaw. You see, this one doesn't. That goes to the end over there. It doesn't on this side. This is it from ground level. Um, it should be roofless, really. It looks so much better without a roof. So, anyone who fancies doing a project after this, bring the cladding up to there and hide the roof. A DL that I wish I thought about earlier, but I didn't because I'm stupid. So, if you wasn't lazy like me, you would have a top plate on top of here. So that just means that when you're doing what I'm doing, uh, you know, the plastic goes onto something flat. It will also help water not getting into that partition, obviously, if you had a plank of wood straight over the top. So I'm relying purely on my little uh, timber coping stones that aren't stone, they're timber. <laughs> You know what? I kind of just want this project to be finished now. So uh, learn what I s learn from what I say, not what I do. I think is what they say. I've got my adhesive there. So um, things just got really real. Here I am um, on top of the roof. The day after laying it, um, it rained. Good news is, is we're watertight. Like I've looked inside, and there's not a drop of rain in sight. Um, sadly, obviously, this hasn't had good time to dry. Um, I'm also seeing, as you can probably see, there's some creases in the plastic. So I'm not the most perfect uh, <laughs> roofer in the world. These creases would probably drive someone insane. Um, but you know, not bad. What I'm doing now is um, just running my foot along the edges just making sure that um, it's up as close to that edge as possible um, the adhesive still hasn't completely dried dry yet so I'm not sure if you can see that but um, I'm just stamping it with my foot in all these YouTube videos they have kind of these really cool tools that they use but hey um, just got to do what you have sometimes right so um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. The next stage is when this dries out, I'll be putting on the felt. Um, and again, for people who have the time to do the top plates, do it, because you avoid this from happening. Big pools of water. Um, why I'm not too worried about that is because I will be um, putting that top stone or that top timber cap on top which would hopefully um, run a lot of the water off um, and any water that kind of gets caught here will hopefully be minimal because it will just be from no <coughs> actually I'm gonna detail it so the felt goes over the screw as well so anyway super long video sorry Bye.